Welcome to another past HSC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover this past HSC exam question, which comes from the Water for Transport chapter. What I'll do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. And once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and then press play when you're ready, and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So the question is, justify continued research into the development of artificial blood, and that's worth three marks. So pause the question, the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. Right, so for this kind of question, look for the verb itself. The verb is the first thing you should look for. It says justify, which more or less means we need to give reasons why. So give reasons why. And we have to give reasons why the development of artificial blood should continue. So in this case, it's worth three marks, which means if you can think of three reasons why we would might want to keep our, keep research into into artificial blood, then you should get your three marks. So think of why we need to keep keep going. In this case, of the three points I've mentioned were that we need to increase our blood supply, that we should reduce the the risk of compatibility issues. So compatibility issues with normal blood, and also to reduce the risk of infection. infection. So reduce the risk of infection. And after I've stated those three points, I just mentioned that overall we should continue the, the artificial blood research, as the pros outweigh the outweigh the cons. So I'll start. My first sentence as wrote was an introduction sentence. There are numerous reasons why the research in, into artificial blood should continue. This doesn't get any points, but just it gives an introduction. Then I give my first reason, which was the blood supply. So this is the blood supply one. There is currently a shortage of donated blood, and blood supplies are vital to save many patients' lives. So vital to save many patients' lives. In this case, I've actually said why we need to have blood. So why we need blood itself is because we need to save patients' lives. And then by making artificial, so by producing artificial blood, can help us boost our blood supply and prevent shortage from happening. So by having artificial blood, we can make sure we have no shortage and that helps us save more patients' lives. So this gets one mark out of three so far. I've gone over the first point. Next one was the compatibility issues. And for that, I first wrote... There's a, also a problem when it comes to matching donor with recipient blood. So that was all a, blood type A, B, A, B, and O. If the blood types do not match, then serious harm can result. So that's a problem. If you have someone is O and they get AB blood, then they can die from that. We can produce artificial blood that does not come with compatibility problems, which would eliminate that concern. So yeah, by producing artificial blood, we can make it non-compatibility issue free, which means that anyone can have that blood. We don't have to make sure that they have the right blood type. So that gets you one mark as well. So now we've gotten two out of three so far. And for the last one, I wrote, another problem with natural blood is that infections, such as AIDS, this was infections part, so it reduced the rates of infections. So another problem with natural blood is that infections, such as AIDS, can be transmitted via blood donations. Artificial blood is sterile and infection free and will reduce the rates of accidental infections. So this was another reasons why we would have it and why it would be good to have to reduce the rate of random accidental infections. And I guess another mark. And then I just wrote a concluding statement. It is early days when it comes to artificial blood te technologies, but research should continue to improve as it will greatly benefit society. So this is just yeah, saying that we should continue, and these were the reasons why. And that will get you three marks out of three for mentioning these three points, and also explaining why as well. So come, don't just mention, but mention why that would be a good, good thing. So where do these come from? These, this question, so the justify continued research into the development of artificial blood, comes from this top point. Students will analyze and present information from secondary sources to report on the progress in the production of artificial blood, and use available evidence to propose reasons why such research is needed. 
So that was that part. But yeah, I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.